Hey everyone, so this video is going to be about computing the first set and the follow set of every uh, context free grammar. Now, this is required for LL1 parsing and LR0 parsing and some other forms of parsing, SLR1 parsing. So, in, the, in those parsing techniques, you will need to compute the first and follow of uh, the grammar rules that you have been given. So, this is the set of grammar rules that we are given. Now, if we want to com compute the first set, the first of all the sets, so first we have to compute the uh, first set of all the variables. So the variables, there are five variables, e, e prime, t, t prime, and f. So uh, we have to compute the first set of the variables. First set is typically easy. Follow is the one, computing the follow set is actually the hard one. So let's compute the first. So first of e. Now the first of e, as you can see, you have to compute, the first of e is the first symbol of left the leftmost symbol of uh, the whole uh, everything on the right hand side so first of t so we have to find the first of t in order to find the first of e now t is a variable itself so let's just compute that later let's just compute the first of the terminals uh, or the, of the variables whichever has uh, terminals as its leftmost symbol so e prime the first of e prime is we know plus plus could be a first of e prime because Plus is the first symbol and the leftmost symbol on this production, and for this the uh, the leftmost symbol on this production uh, of this is epsilon. So epsilon is another first. Now first of let's compute well t also there is a the leftmost symbol is a variable so we'll compute that later. So let's compute uh, t prime. T prime's first is um, star, star, and epsilon. These are the first sets of T prime and the first of F is this, the closing bracket, this are opening brace, opening parenthesis and ID. Why? Because this is the first symbol, the leftmost symbol, uh, leftmost terminal is uh, opening parenthesis and this is just one symbol. So the first of uh, F goes to ID will be just ID because that's the only symbol on the right hand side. Okay. So f is done. Now let's compute the ones that we didn't compute because of the leftmost symbol being a uh, variable. So the first of e is the first of t. First of t we didn't compute. So let's compute first of t. First of t is first of f because the leftmost symbol is f. So f is opening parenthesis and id. So that's the first of t. Uh, first of f because and uh, consequently the first of t so uh, that's done now let's compute let's go back to e again the first of e is the leftmost symbol the uh, first of the leftmost symbol which is first of t so first of t we found is uh, opening brace and id so opening brace and id is the first right okay so for computing follow these are the rules that you would have to follow <laughs> right so if the A is the first symbol. If A is the start symbol, then we put dollar in the follow of A. That means on the follow of uh, the first start symbol, we put dollar symbol. And if we have productions of the form alpha, A, beta, where A is a variable and alpha and beta could be a terminal or a variable, does not matter, then follow of A will be the first of beta. Right. So, so alpha, A, beta, here alpha and beta could be terminals or variables or a combination of both. That means the, it, does not, it doesn't mean that alpha would have to be just one variable or one terminal. It couldn't be two var variable and terminal or two variables or two terminals. Same way beta is also the same. Again, if we have the productions of the form alpha A, just alpha A, that means alpha A and beta is epsilon, then we would, uh, the, then we would have to add follow of A. This follow of A will become the follow of beta. Sorry, follow of B. So let's compute. So we know that as the first symbol goes, uh, E is the start symbol, so dollar will be in the follow set first. We know that. Now let's just compute uh, alpha A beta sort of grammar. Uh, just change the color. Okay. So alpha A beta. So this looks like one alpha. This looks like this could be an alpha A beta. So alpha A beta beta. Let's just think that's epsilon. So that means this could be of the form alpha A, just alpha A. So let me just erase this. So it will be just alpha A, right? So we know that if it's alpha A, that means uh, follow of A, that means follow of E prime will equal follow of E. So follow of E prime will be follow of E. So let me just note it down. Follow, uh, sorry. 
follow. Of e prime will be follow of e, and then uh, so this is done. This part is done. Now let's look at another another one that looks like alpha a beta. This one looks like alpha a beta, alpha a beta. So if it's alpha a beta, we know that follow of a will be first of beta. Follow of a is follow of t. So let's go to t. Follow of t will be first of e prime. First of e prime is plus and epsilon. Now remember that in first set we could put epsilon but in follow set we can never put epsilon we would have to uh, uh, always uh, cancel epsilon epsilon can never be in a follow set so as we know follow of t will be first of e prime so first of e prime we would just take plus all right so that's done now let's compute alpha a beta for this alpha a well no beta so alpha a so that means follow of t prime will be follow of t so follow of t prime will be follow of t that's done now alpha a beta alpha a beta so follow of f will be first of t prime so first of t prime first of t prime is star star so star right now this this one alpha a beta so follow of a will be first of beta so for uh, follow of e will be another one will be open uh, closing parenthesis so that's done now uh, what we uh, now let's see if we could just have combinations of terminals and variables to get alpha and beta so let me just erase some part now here notice that e prime goes to plus t e prime here e prime is also uh, there is a rule for e prime where e prime could be epsilon so if we would think that e prime becomes epsilon here so we would have a production of some that somewhat looks like this so e prime e prime goes to plus t because e prime this e prime will become epsilon uh, if we would derive if we would do derivation here so uh, let's think that this is a this is the, this is a one that looks like alpha and beta so alpha a sorry so alpha and a so follow of t will be follow of e, e prime here uh, as this rule goes so follow of a becomes follow of b so follow of t will be follow of e prime so as you can see uh, follow of t will be follow of e prime so follow of t will be follow of e prime same goes for this if you would just replace t prime with epsilon you would have follow of f will be follow of t prime follow of f will be follow of t prime finally we'll be left with something like this so these are the follow sets of each of the variables so dollar close parenthesis dollar close parenthesis and these are the follow stay uh, follows follow sets of the remaining ones union is we just unifying plus with the follow of e prime whatever we got in follow of e prime so we just unified all the terminals and that's what we are left with so if you could just pause this video and jot this down, these will be what we will be left with and you can check your answers. Now I'll be moving on to another example to clarify this. Part. So let's compute the first of, we are giving this context free grammar, let's con compute the first of all the variables here. So just compute the ones that are easy, that, that, have, that has uh, the leftmost symbol has a terminal. So T, the first of T will be opening parenthesis A, B, C and the first of E will be N and epsilon. First of A will be whatever is the first of T. So first of T is opening parenthesis. As you can see, the leftmost symbol is T. So first of T will give us the first of A. So opening parenthesis A, B, C. And the first of S is just opening parenthesis and epsilon. That's it. Now let's move on to the follow set. So let's compute the follow sets. Now we have something like alpha a beta over here. So alpha a beta. Now first off, we know that follow of a will be the first of beta. So beta is closing parenthesis. So follow of a will be first of beta. So closing parenthesis. All right. Now alpha a beta again comes here, so it's just alpha a, no beta, it's just epsilon. 
So follow of A, follow of E will be follow of A. So follow of E will be follow of A. And this there is another one alpha A beta. So follow of T will be first of E. So follow of T will be first of E. E is here. So N no epsilon because follow says cannot have epsilon. And another one is alpha A beta. So follow of A will be follow of uh, first of beta. So we already got that first of beta is this one. Now again notice that E goes to N T E. Here E is he, E can be cancelled out because E has a production that goes to epsilon. So we would get the resulting production as E goes to N T. And this could be written as alpha and A, just alpha and A, no beta because beta will be epsilon here. So follow of T will be follow of E. So follow of T will be follow of E. So let's just compute all of these, the final, uh, the final follow set. So this is the final follow set that you get after unifying everything and just writing it down all nicely and stuff. So that's about it for first and follow sets. I hope this was clear. We'll move on to LL1 parsing later on. And this is a very fundamental rule, a fundamental uh, thing that you should know before computing, going towards computing LL1 parsing. Uh, so please give a thumbs up if you like this tutorial and um, to support this series and good luck.